Apollo 11, 15 July, 1969, Cape Kennedy, Florida, the night before the great day. Six million pounds of machine, 36 stories tall. Nearly 10 years work of half a million people. Neil Armstrong, Commander Apollo 11. Edwin Buzz Aldrin, Lunar Module Pilot. Michael Collins, Command Module Pilot. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6. seconds. Time to throw Apollo 40 miles up into the sky and then an empty shell to fall back into the sea. We got the next step. Roger, we confirm, skirt step. Tower's gone. Roger, tower. Neil Armstrong confirming both the engine skirt separation and the launch escape tower separation. Yeah, Houston, uh, Apollo 11, that Saturn gave us a magnificent ride. All right, Roger, 11, we'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. The command service module separated and turned around to dock with Eagle, the lunar module. Apollo 11, this is Houston, how do you read? Okay. On board was a fourth brain, a small computer called Disky, which solved problems and helped with a long sequence of systems checks and data exchange with Earth. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I mean, they found their way across the sea of space, navigating by the same stars that guided Columbus to shores unknown. 11, Houston, we copy. Two good marks, over. Okay. No up or down, no day or night. Only the slow creeping of the harsh sunlight through the windows as the spacecraft rotates to keep from getting too hot on one side, too cold on the other. 
zero 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 eight five zero zero seven six four zero three zero 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 two nine or three now eighty six minus the eagle has wings on its own now but with Columbia near at hand it coasted around to the back side of the moon and there while out of direct communication with the earth it fired its engine to slow its descent to a touchdown on the near side of the moon Collins in Columbia continued in orbit awaiting their return Okay, all flight controllers, go no go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're a go for landing. Over. I do understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. You're looking great. How you doing, Control? We look good here. Fine. All right, how about you, Telcom? Go. Guidance, you happy? Go. Fido. Go. 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Into the ag. 47 degrees. Roger. 37 degrees. Still looking very good. Your go. Top alarm. 1201. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. 1201 alarm. Same type, we're go flight. Okay, we're go. We're go, same type, we're go. Altitude 1600. Eagle looking great. Roger, 1202, we copy it. 35 degrees, 750, coming down to 23. 540 feet down at 15. 150 feet down at 4. Altitude velocity light. 3.5 down. 220 feet. 11 forward coming down nicely. 200 feet. 4.5 down. 5.5 down. 100 feet. 3.5 down. 9 forward. 875 feet. That is looking good. Down a half. 6 forward. 60 seconds. Lights on, forward, forward, 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust, straight shadow, four forward, drift into the right a little, 30 seconds, forward, just contact light, okay, engine stop, we copy you down, Eagle, Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed, Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, that hasn't collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. It's a pretty good little jump. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb footbeds are only. Uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. I'm going to step off the lamina. That's one small step for man. One I have lead for me and
Hey, Neil, didn't I say we might see some purple rocks? Find the purple rocks? Yep. Very small, sparkly uh, fragments. Buzz is erecting the solar wind experiment now. Every precious minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected, photographs taken, experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun, to record moonquakes, to measure precisely by laser beam reflection the exact distance between moon and earth. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Houston, Columbia, and I gain over. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes. Alone, 45 miles above the moon's surface, Michael Collins completed an orbit every two hours. He listened to the progress of the moonwalk and awaited the moment when his companions on the surface would lift off to rendezvous with him. Tranquility Base, uh, Houston. Guidance recommendation uh, is pings, and you're cleared for takeoff. Roger, understand. We're number one on the runway. Seven, six, five, white stage, engine arm acid. Beautiful. Very smooth. Very quiet ride. There's that one stay down there. 1,000 feet high, 80 feet uh, per second vertical rise. Eagle Houston, uh, you're looking good at two. Ping, zags, and mist, and all agree. July 21st. The Eagle and its two-man crew lifted off the moon perfectly and climbed slowly to rendezvous and dock with the mother ship, Columbia. Once again, the bright blue planet of Earth rises over the lunar horizon. For those who had witnessed man's landing in the Sea of Tranquility, the moon would never again appear quite the same.